When hearing about the Alps, one might not necessarily think of Norway. But Norway, with its fjords and steep mountains, have Alps from the north and to the south. And here in Elnesvågen, we find the Alps of Romsdal. This area is a well-known fertile farming region with nutrient-rich grass for the animals to graze on and in turn produce high-quality milk. A key ingredient in making great cheese. Alpeus from Elnesvågen is a new cheese and has been under development for more than three years before hitting the shelves. Today I'm meeting with one of the farmers supplying the milk used to make this cheese. Anders and his family are proud farmers who have farmed this land throughout generations. Life here is good. So, I don't know what to do. Everyone is really friendly here. Yeah. Yeah, it's really friendly. You've got a big family. Yeah. <laughs> The cows graze in these beautiful surroundings, and Anders is convinced that the environment the cows live in plays a significant role in determining the quality of the milk. If the cow is healthy and happy, its milk will be rich and of the highest quality. This ideology is one reason that he attained an award for delivering flawless milk for 15 years straight. Jag gav henne här köpte bastafarmen i 1923 mm. och så henne farmen drev då till i, i, i 99 och i 99 tog jag över och drev nu drev i 20 år. Ja. Och det är en 20 mjölkekyr, 19 mjölkekyr och en kvote på 120 ton. Ja. Would you agree when people say that it, maybe Norway has the best milk? Ja. Definitivt. Ja, definitivt. Ja. Jag tror att kvaliteten blir, go blir god mm. när kyn går ute på bete och har goda dagar. Mm. Och, och har gått bete så blir det god kvalitet. Ja, ja. Is, is there any um, type of like berries that go around here locally that they eat or aina or juniper or? Inte kyn. Ja, kyn. Bara. Kyn. 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 Det är ett gras där och det är... Man ungdyra. Ja. Där kan man äta... Ja, för så lite. Ja, okej. Okay. Här är det kun gras. Ja. Och kyn. Ja. Kyn. You know, there's so much talk now about, you know, this Norwegian products and, and the quality. And we have the, the cheese championships coming up soon. How does that make you feel? Because you are a part of the process, you know, producing the quality ingredient that's being used. Yeah, the the end result, oh, since the new fantastic that that they can for it and set price for it, so it's very good there. Yeah, yeah. It seems to be good. Yeah, because it is an amazing place and it's beautiful and. And um, there's so much to be proud about. Next, I'm meeting with Shell Uverisan, who has grown up around cheese making. As a child, he used to join his mother when she went to work at the dairy. Here he saw and learned how cheese was made. Today, he is a proud cheesemaker himself and is excited to introduce the new Alpust. Alpeus is a result of a tight collaboration between the dairy in Elmesvogen and the cheese product and development team. They wanted to make a locally produced cheese inspired by the surrounding Alps and turned to the Swiss for inspiration. After three years of trials, they succeeded. It starts with the milk, rennet and culture like chevre, but they add in an extra secret culture. Then. After the cheese is molded and salted, the maturing begins. They carefully let the cheese take its time, and slowly it develops from month to month. After seven months, it's ready to hit the market. So tell me, how did you get into cheese making? 
I kind of grew up into it because my mother was getting a job in the dairy in Ellenswagen. When I was six, seven years old, I started following it to work and help her in the evening and run for the milk testing and so on in the in the dark corridors and uh, it was very scary <laughs> and I remember still remember the bad smell in the corridors oh. with milk spilled on the floor and so on but it's getting better now and I tried to go to the army but unfortunately I injured my knee and uh, then I go back to the dairy again and I felt that this is very interesting mm. I want to learn more about cheese making and so on I went to school in Norway first and mm. after a while I went to Denmark again and learned more about cheese making and I just love it and you've been there ever since yeah I have yeah we're actually bringing in milk from you see the green grass over there yeah you have to go with the ferry over there to bring it in and all over there you see all the green fields close to the Alps bring it to Ellenswagen. So all this area. So you yeah. can stand here and pretty much say, Yeah. This is our cheese. This is our This is our cheese. Yeah. And this is where it comes from. Yeah. That's incredible. It is. Yeah. Okay Namana, are you ready for a taste of new Alp cheese? Yes. From Ellenswagen? Yeah. Here it is. Woo! Okay, here you go. First taste. That's really good. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Okay. From a scale from 9 to 10. It's really good. I agree it's with very, you. It's a little bit tangy, but mm. yet it's still really soft. It was really good actually. Okay. I could just eat this whole thing. It's sharp, mm. but it's it just kind of smoothly comes into the mouth. It doesn't have the long aftertaste. It's, it's, it's really delightful. It's really good. But um, you tell, tell me exactly what's happening here, taste-wise. Yeah. Can you see those small crystals inside the cheese? Yeah. It's, uh, it's not salt, that most people might think. Mm -hmm. During the ripening period, you can see small crystals inside. Mm -hmm. It looks like salt, but it is not salt. It's uh, actually... The protein is decarbonation during the ripening period and mm. feels and which makes a very good taste. Oh, it's really, really good. I am, you should be really proud. I am proud. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to bring it to the World Championships in Bergen mm -hmm. in November. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible accomplishment. And what are you hoping to come out of this? We hope people like it, yeah. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's an honor to be uh, comparing with uh, the whole world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cheese from all over, the, uh, all over the world. It is clear to see how Anders and his family, their dedication and hard work resulting in a fantastic milk product, and the passion and skills of cheesemaker Shell Uva and his co-workers, with all the trials and errors they journeyed through, connect to create not only a new cheese, but a cheese that is undoubtedly going to do well on a global stage. You only have to peer out into the splendor of the surrounding nature to understand that this cheese represents a fertile and rich landscape that has been instrumental in shaping the farming culture, which in turn has been instrumental in developing the flavor and quality of this great cheese. <laughs>